Welcome in everybody to another edition of Valpo Women's Basketball Weekly. Brian of Vickery with you. Glad to be joined by Valpo head coach Mary Evans as we look back at a senior day win over Loyola on Saturday. And coach, it was a situation where you turned around a 26-point loss from the first time against Loyola to beat them this time. What adjustments did you make and uh, what changed in game two against the Ramblers? You know, I think we came out much more aggressively. Um, we felt them out a little bit in the first quarter, but um, the game was a pretty physical game. Um, it, very aggressive game and um, I was really happy to see our team kind of match their physicality and their aggressiveness and um, you know I think defensively we're a lot different team than we were on January 6th when we played them first um, so I think that's a large part of it is we just we defended better and we still had our, our uh, handful of, of breakdowns and gave up 74 points but we had some really good defensive possessions within that game as well so I think that's where the improvement really was. It was unique in the sense that all five starters, I thought, really played well in that game on Saturday. All five in double figures. So what was it like to get uh, that type of balance from your team? Uh, it was fantastic. That is what we want Valpo basketball to look like. Um, obviously, the Addy really came out strong, um, had a really good matchup, and, and, and went for 20. But I thought Grace did a great job driving the basketball strong. I thought Meredith pick and, picked and chose um, her penetrations very smartly. Um, so her numbers were super efficient. Um, Shay kind of came back to that aggressive Shay Frederick that we all love. Um, so it was really exciting. And then Ella, I think, the, I think the break really helped Ella get home, get mentally and physically refreshed. And I thought she played probably her best game that she's played in the last probably three to four weeks. It was a special day as well in the sense that you got to honor the seniors and you had the banquet after the game and you had to, got to send them out with the win. Just what did the whole day mean to the program to, to have that type of day? Um, I think obviously getting a W on senior day is awesome and you know I think our kids played with a lot of energy and a lot of emotion and um, we talked about that today before practice and and how can we replicate that and not just let that be because of senior day or the emotions of senior day so um, you know I think senior day you have something to play for you want to send your seniors out on a good note especially if you like your seniors and our, I think our team really cares about Meredith and Allison and Hannah and and even Casey and what the energy and, and the the what she's brought to the team and so I think they really went out and they played with a real purpose on sa on Saturday and that was good to see. A year ago we sat here and I talked to you about the fact that you would have to recruit your own team again and now uh, almost a year later and listening to some of the seniors talk after the game on Saturday it seems like that's happened. What's it been like to build the relationship with your current players especially that senior class as a first year head coach? It's been awesome. It's my favorite part of this is kind of getting to know them and and hearing their stories and um, and hearing their aspirations and their dreams and and um, you know, it's really cool. I mean, Casey was gone on a mission trip all last week, and she spoke to the team. She did a presentation today that we started with and, and spoke to the team of her uh, her experiences in Mexico City and what touched her um, and how it was such a life-changing event for her. And um, to me, that was, was my favorite part of the day. Like, practice was good. I thought they brought great intensity. But listening to her and what experience she had in Mexico and how that's changed her forever moving forward was probably the coolest part of the day for me. And so, you know, that's... I'm glad that we've been able to do it as quickly as we have, and I'm fortunate to have walked into a situation with really good, high-character kids that have allowed me um, to get to know them and have been open to me getting to know them. Now we turn the page and look ahead to this week's conference tournament. Indiana State is the first-round opponent. Two competitive games, Indiana State winning both in the regular season, turned into a bit of an in-state rivalry between two teams that are maybe in similar spots with first-year head coaches. Uh, what do you anticipate from this matchup on Thursday? Um, a very physical game. I mean, Indiana State uh, is extremely aggressive. They're a really good defensive team. They're a really strong rebounding team, um, and we've got to come out um, with the mentality to uh, go blow for blow with them and, and to guard and to rebound and to box out every time and to get on the floor for, for loose balls and do all those little things because if we don't do them, they will do them. And I think in both games, especially the game at Indiana State, I think that was a large reason of why we didn't win the basketball game. And, and so we have to match that um, in Moline and to give us an opportunity to be in the game. You've had success in conference tournaments before uh, in your career as an assistant coach, uh, certainly. What are some keys to going into a tournament situation where you have to play several games in a row and being successful in a spot like this? You know, I think for us, it's being able to have had those experiences in, in the course of the year, and we did that. We went to Moran State. We played back-to-back -back games. Um, 
there and um, you know we can lean on those experiences we can lean on that time that week where we played that number of games and that stretch and, and know that we physically can do it and then I think for uh, from a coaching perspective it's just it's business as usual it's prepping them um, it's taking care of their bodies it's it's doing all the same things that you do on the road um, you just have a more condensed time frame and so that's our plan and, and we're going to go there and I know the kids are excited to get there and, and they're excited to compete. Good luck this week. Thank you. There she is, the head coach, Mary Evans. Exciting week tournament time. It's a 4 p.m. tip. You can watch it on ESPN Plus on Thursday from Molina, Illinois, as Valpo takes on Indiana State. For all the latest in Valpo women's basketball, check out valpoathletics.com.